How did you reach out to these like seven of them, handful of them? So um, we did a huge uh, research mm -hmm. and we found out these guys were like, doing such amazing work and at such a young age. And young age and no one even knows about it. Yeah. Correct. So we found them and then we said that, you know, instead of, you know, uh, me, just me, 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 me being here, you know, we need to also put on people who actually go out and do phenomenal work. I mean, I've just met them today and I spent a lot of time yeah. listening to, you know, what they have done. And they've done like numbers yeah, numbers that you can't even even imagine like just now I have reopened like 36 toilets in a RML colony near film city yeah. which I've been seeing this for the longest time this boy has done 10,000 of them yeah yeah <laughs> so I was like ah yeah he beat us hollow but um, uh, there's a lot of work to be done I run an organization called uh, Zero Gravity, which is uh, which operates under Dr. Shrikant Jishkar Foundation, something that I started in memory of my father. Uh, it's an organization that creates opportunities for young change makers to come together and work on projects uh, of social good. So we are in the um, in, we work in the field of education, healthcare, and rural development. Uh, one of our star projects is the Happy School project, which particularly I want to uh, talk about. Uh, it is a government school makeover project. So we, w we work with government schools and we adopt these government schools and we transform them uh, into beautiful centers of learning using a very unique educational concept called building as a learning aid. So we have impacted around 5,000 children uh, till now and uh, the project is just like two and a half years old. Uh, we are in two different, we, have, we are right now working in 28 villages across Maharashtra. Uh, also in Andhra Pradesh and uh, soon uh, we plan to begin with other states as well. So it's called Once Upon a Dug, uh, Dug meaning dug, like a cloud. Okay. And uh, it has been started to empower the cotton farming women in Varda. As there are a lot of suicides that have been happening because of less rainfall and you know poverty and all, where the yeah. farmers cannot support themselves. Correct. And the thing is, so the whole idea behind uh, the project was to empower the women hmm. of uh, the Cotton Farming Society. So we run an NGO, it's called Insaniyat. Um, we basically started off, it all started off as a college project where we wanted to work in the women empowerment space where we did uh, self-defense for women all over the city. In, we went to railway stations, schools, colleges, etc. Uh, but as we grew older, the umbrella just broadened and now we're like a full-fledged social development NGO. So we work in anything under the umbrella of social development from working with the BMC to get gutters fixed to doing stuff like the LGBT parade to helping people understand the financial systems Obviously in the banks. aim is to sort of narrow down onto something that we can dig our nails into and get into work with. I'm a bespoke shoemaker, so I make shoes. I've, I've studied the art of shoemaking, and when I started uh, running my little brand, I used to make shoes for anyone and everybody, hmm. as you know, like in the form of a business. But then uh, slowly and steadily, I started realizing that this is not making me so happy. And, and I specialized making shoes for differently able people. So that was my forte, and I used to do that in a very small proportion. But whenever I did that, I felt immense pleasure doing that. And slowly I start off, started realizing that this is not what I want to do. I don't want to make shoes for the mass. I don't want to do a business. It's, it's not business for me. And uh, I started making shoes for differently able people only now. Now I do this out of just sheer passion, the love to make shoes and the love to make uh, these people happy. Our initiative is uh, basically providing toilets to people and we all like to say that we not only provide toilets but we provide dignity hmm. to people. So providing uh, toilets ranging from portable toilets to toilets uh, which are low cost 
to community toilets, containerized toilets, and the cleaning of these toilets, the evacuation of waste, and the disposal of waste. This is what we do, and this is what our initiative is to clean up India and envision with the Prime Minister's vision of Swachh Bharat. What we do at Umeed is we reach out to uh, children who are experiencing disabilities and children and families. Uh, so we address them. We are a team of 74 people, um, and we are a group of pediatricians, occupational therapists, special educators, everybody who works with children in this space. Uh, so we try to provide care, and one of the philosophies that we follow is care for all. So anybody who enters the door of Umeed asking for care in any way, uh, we will provide them regardless of any socio-economical, political status of them. 